Warriors, rise. Is your economy about to collapse, Warriors? We're going to break it down. No need to worry. No need to worry. Or should you? Don't trust the word I say. Trust the feeling and vibration it creates in your body and act accordingly. My name is Coach JV. I am the top health, mindset, and crypto coach in the world. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. And the reason why I started off with a confusing narrative, should you be worried, should you not be worried, I'll tell you what, 99% of the population is worried about the wrong things. As they look this way, there's a whole nother narrative going on this way. And if you know the game, you cannot be played. In the description down below, you can join our free Discord and join the conversation, or you can jump right into the Warrior Academy. It's in the description in this video. My sense of urgency is going to start to pick up. The reason why, Warriors, my main mission with the YouTube channel with my TikTok, with social media, was to give in pe in, in people information to make informed decisions because I saw this coming a long time ago. I saw the shift happening while I was in the banking system and I left. I didn't even really know why I left. It didn't feel correct, right? I went in and started a fitness company, a mindset company, and thank God I found the cryptocurrency. I didn't believe in cryptocurrency before Warriors. And I was introduced to cryptocurrency and I started to see the cracks in the infrastructure, the banking system, and that cryptocurrency was going to be the solve. And I started to speak my truth and people called me the tinfoil hat guy. And now exactly what I was saying two and a half years ago is literally happening in the financial system. In the next five years, your financial system will be operating on a digital currency. You'll be operating on a distributed ledger technology. You'll walk into your local bank, Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and you will be able to do a DeFi loan off of your Ethereum. I guarantee you, Warriors. I like to say this stuff boldly because I do my research. But again, don't trust a word I say. Trust the feeling and vibration it creates in your body and act accordingly. Now, what I'm going to take you through is facts, figures, numbers, logic. Okay, now I'm the macro and microeconomic guy. My team is bringing you the news at 8 a.m., Every single day, Arizona time, the people you see on my YouTube channel are my crypto team. We have 13 people on our team and 20 people with our volunteers worldwide. We work together to do research so we can make good decisions. In our Warrior Academy, we provide cryptocurrency courses. We provide events. Today, I have a deep dive call around BlackRock with my warriors, and we give you information. We provide you a group of people so we can rise together. But today, we're going to talk about the economy and what's happening. So is your economy going to collapse? Now, remember, I highly recommend you go study Ray Dalio. We're in the third economic cycle, which is war. Now, remember, all the mask rules just all of a sudden changed. The C word went away, and then boom, you're looking over here at a Russia-Ukraine narrative okay now they were talking about interest rates last year now the narrative is actually coming to fruition okay so they slowed down the printing of money last year did you forget about that they slowed down the printing of money okay they stopped the faucet now they're going to start to raise interest rates the war narrative is going to increase inflation they're going to try to increase false gdp gross domestic product growth through war War creates monetary gain. There's no reason to go kill other people. The reason why we do it is because of war and egotistical fucking assholes. Excuse my language. I serve my country. I served five years in the United States Coast Guard. I'm proud to be an American, but war is designed for monetary gain. Thank you for those who served our country, but I'm telling you, war is for monetary gain. Okay, so let's talk about what's actually happening. These are facts that are happening right now that are affecting you as a human being having a living experience. So mortgage rates are going up, okay? So they raised uh, rates by point, uh, quarter percent, okay? Now I want you to think about this for just a moment. You could get a mortgage like under 3% not too long ago. So money was very, very cheap. It's still very cheap at 4.75 compared to 1973 when my parents did a mortgage at 23%. But remember, they detached from the gold standard this is very important. They detached from the gold standard in 1971. Interest rates were like 20, 20%, 19%, 18%. But you got a shitload of money on your savings because we had an asset-backed currency. When they detached from the gold standard and started printing money to oblivion, they made money very, very cheap to borrow. It kept the, kept the liquidity going through the system. So they trapped us into a debt-based society. So in order to create 
monetary gain now. They need to raise interest rates. What this is going to do, it's going to bring the middle class to their knees. If by July it goes up to 6%, which some people are saying it's going to 6%, the same mortgage that was, what, 2500 around $500,000 is going to be around $3,000. Probably even more than that. I probably did the math incorrectly. So the same mortgage is going to be about $1,000 more if I did the math correctly. So let me ask you a question. Could you afford $500 more for your mortgage payment? Even $1,000 more? No, the normal every average day person cannot afford these type of rate hikes. So the last mortgage uh, news, 30-year fixed rates are near 4.75. And just a year or two ago, even a year ago, excuse me, people are getting mortgages under 3%. I just got an auto loan for the asset that I, I bought in regards to what I'm doing with the, the car strategy at little over 3%. I got it because it was cheap money borrowing money to get assets worse. Okay. So here's the thing. So your mortgage rates are going up. Okay. If you look at the inflation calculator since 1971, cumulative rate of inflation is 600.5%. It takes $7 to buy the same thing that it took a dollar in 1971. Here's the things you need to understand. Let me ask you a question. Has your pay gone up that much? Absolutely not. Has your product productivity gone up? Absolutely. You work way more hours now, but you don't get paid enough to support this rate of inflation. So now mortgage rates are going up. Interest rates are going up. Money's going to be more expensive to borrow. So less people are going to be able to get homes. Okay. Very important to listen to what I'm saying, words, because this goes into the cryptocurrency narrative. Inflation, 600%, 1971 to 2022. As you sit, your money, it takes $7 to buy the same thing it took to buy a dollar in 1971. Gas prices are skyrocketing. So they said, thinking US gas prices are high. Try filling up in Hong Kong. It's $11 a gallon. Why am I showing you this article? Okay. In California, it's $583. That's what people are paying. Um, in Hong Kong, they're paying $1090. The reason why I'm showing you this, because it's global. This is a global, global thing happening. This isn't just in Arizona or California. This is global. So knowing that gas prices are going up, knowing that mortgage rates are going up, knowing that food prices are going up. Listen to this. So there are items in consumer price indexes measured in the economy, excuse me, are measured of economy wide inflation. Increase of 0.9% from January 2022 to February 2002 before seasonal adjustments. Up 7.9% since February 2021. The CPI for all food increased 1% from January 2022 to February 2022, and the food prices were 7.9% higher, higher than February 2021. So now you have mortgage rates going up, creeping up slowly. It's going to be more expensive for you to borrow. Less people are going to be able to afford homes. Rent is going up, and I'm going to show uh, uh, my opinion why. Inflation, your dollar, since 1971, it takes $7 to buy the same thing a dollar bought in 1971. Your gas prices are skyrocketing worldwide. Your food is becoming more expensive. Ukraine and Russia produce 28% of the wheat's production Okay, for America. I think it's for America specifically and worldwide, globally. It literally is going to cause massive food increases and food shortages. Okay, Now, here's what's happening. Here's the narrative. The wealthy, wealthy, wealthy people and your governments are moving into a liquidity-based currency, Okay, an asset-backed currency, which is going to be backed by cryptocurrency. My opinion, but they're showing us now. So I brought this news to you on the 4th. I think it was, yep, on the 4th, April 4th. Okay, UK plans to be the technology hub for global assets. So the government has today announced, this was on the 4th, moves that it will see stablecoin recognized as a valid form of payment as part of a wider plan to make Britain a global hub for crypto, crypto assets, technology, and investments. Okay, so that was on February 4th. Remember, they all work hand in hand together. Then on February, excuse me, April, I think I said February here. This was April 4th. This is February 4th. <laughs> Sorry, April 4th. April 6th, which was yesterday, Senator Toomey releases draft bill setting up framework for stable coins. So the UK rolls out their stable coin narrative, stable coins to be brought within regulation, paving the way for us in the UK to be recognized as a form of payment. Two days later, Senator Toomey releases draft bill setting up framework 
for stable coins. Another proposed approach to stablecoin regulation has entered the congressional arena. On April 6, Senator Pat Toomey released a draft on stablecoin transparency of Reserves and Uniform Safe Transaction Act. You can read through this. I'd highly recommend you take a deep dive on this. Lockstep warriors. One country moves forward. So now America is the choo-choo train. We're literally the caboose. We're at the end of the innovation, right? So we're slowly supposedly moving into this innovation. But what's happening is there's shots fired. UK says they're going into stable coins. And then all of a sudden, Senator Pat Toomey starts putting on the pressure. Boom. Here it is. Okay. You can read through this. To provide a regulatory framework for consumer uh, protections and the issuance of stable coins and for other purposes. I highly recommend you read through these documents. That's what we do all day. Okay. So now we have uh, rates going up. Okay. Your food's becoming more expensive. Your gas is becoming more expensive and they're moving you into a stable coin type monetary system. You're going to have a CBDC at your, at your local bank. Eventually, you're going to be able to custody your cryptocurrency at your Wells Fargo, your Bank of America, your Chase. JPM coin is already created. They have their own cryptocurrency. XRP is going to be a bridge currency for many organizations and many corporations. Okay. There's going to be things like XLM, which are going to be peer to peer networks. You're going to have things like Ethereum that are deep in the banking system through consensus. Okay. Whereas your whole world is changing as you know it. Here's the key build a fundamental crypto portfolio based on things that are going to be here after regulation. I'll tell you what, your exchanges, exchanges, they're coming. Fast and furious for exchanges. That's why Coinbase and, the, you know, there's a lot of TikTokers out there saying, get off Coinbase, get off Coinbase. But I'll tell you what, Coinbase is coming up underneath the regulation. They're coming up on a Uniswap is taking tokens off. Why is Uniswap a freedom platform, right? Taking tokens off of their platform. Think about that for just a moment, Warriors. They know stuff that we don't know. They know stuff that because they're following the billionaires like we're doing. And the billionaires are telling us what we're doing. Starbucks, Starbucks to explore NFTs metaverse by the end of 2022. Burger King rewards people for eating shitty food with Bitcoin. Think about that for just a moment, Warriors. Think about that for just a moment. Okay, my intensity is going to start picking up because it's time to get our shit together, Warriors. It's not time to sit on your goddamn hands. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. People take God's name in vain. I apologize because I want to be respectful to everybody. I just get fired up. It's time to get fired up. Just put it that way, okay? MicroStrategies purchase fresh 4,197 BTC April 6th, they announced. Okay. So MicroStrategies is stacking up on Bitcoin. If you watch my video on Tuesday, I break down micro and macro strategies and they have close to, I think it's a, don't quote me on this, 197,000 Bitcoin. Now remember, they are owned big time by BlackRock. One of the biggest shareholders is BlackRock and Vanguard. And I'm breaking down BlackRock for my team today in the Warrior Academy on our 10 o'clock call. Okay, understand this. So MicroStrategies keeps hammering down on Bitcoin. You need to start understanding Silvergate the bank. Silvergate the bank is an innovative bank right now that banks Coinbase, they bank Kraken, and they brought in $4.2 billion in crypto deposits last year. And now what they're starting to do is they're starting to give crypto back loans to big organizations like macro strategies connected to micro strategies, which is co co connected to BlackRock, which literally moves and shapes the monetary system. So here's my opinion of what's going to happen. Right now, we're going to see a big pullback. It's by design. Around April 15th, and this is based on wise counsel from G Investing on my team from uh, Waters Above Crypto, around the 14th, 15th, uh, we're going to start to see a pair. Uh, I, I believe, I believe, this is me saying it's a parabolic move. Okay. Make sure you have an exit strategy or just be a long term holder. Okay. I'm a long term holder with an exit plan. I exit on the way up, four different exit targets. I hold 50% long term. If it goes down, I purchase if it's right within that paradigm. Okay. But these are the things that, uh, Silvergate is doing. Okay. Silvergate is a bank served entrepreneurs in a unique niche industry for over 20 years, recognizing digital currencies potential during the sector's infancy. We built a strong relationship, strong relationship with pioneers. They were building relationships who turned away from traditional banking. This solidified our position as an industry leader of partners and innovators, which remain true today. So look at this CNBC, the key to growth of digital assets in the industry. Wall Street Journal, a striking stance in the, in the stad of world banking, the go-to bank for cryptocurrency in the industry. So Warriors, they know, banks know, 
the politicians know, and tomorrow I'm going to do a thing on Nancy Pelosi and the SEC, they know, they know that we are switching to a DeFi. This is all by design. They built this system, Warriors. In my opinion, they built this system. You can't trust a word they say, Warriors. There's something going on. You're here to pick the winners and losers. That's what you're here to do. It's about getting non-emotional people who are like Bitcoin maximalists or XRP maximalists, and they go and smash other cryptocurrencies, Warriors. We're all being played. We are all being played. Your job is to pick winners and losers. All of you in the cryptocurrency space, stop becoming like tribal about certain cryptocurrencies. Try to teach people how to invest properly, okay? Everybody's being played, in my opinion. I was deep in banking wars, deep in banking. There's a big-ass game going on with your money. There's a big-ass game. It's money and politics, and you're not going to beat it if you don't have the money to run the politics wars. The only thing you can do is you can pick the winners and losers and you can become the new uncommon 1% and change the narrative because those who control the money, control the information, control the people. So be very careful where you're getting your information from. So that's the message I want to bring to you guys today. I'll dive into uh, Nancy Pelosi tomorrow on my uh, YouTube channel right here. But I want to share a message with you guys of love, of love. This is all coming from my heart words. I work, excuse my manifestation alarm. I work to free myself. Let's do our manifestation together. Thank you for the 1 million month in income. Thank you for the 1 million month income. Thank you for the 1 million month income. So that's not in my paradigm yet. But what I do is I connect the heart brain coherence and I picture it freeing people on my team all over the world. And I hold it. I hold the feeling and vibration as if it already exists because it does, because anything that you can think of and put out into the quantum field, eventually you'll catch up to. So be careful what you ask for. So I release that. Thank you for doing that with me. All right, Warriors, I feel very calm today. I feel full of love and grace and honor that you guys watch these videos, and I appreciate you. But I'm going to tell you guys my intensities. I'm being quiet. My daughter's sleeping right now. I'm in the home base. But um, my intensity is going to pick up. My intensity is going to pick up because this is the greatest time in human history, Warriors. And I don't want anybody to get left behind. But again, don't trust a word I say, Warriors. Trust the feeling and vibration it creates in your body and act accordingly. Do your own research. Do your own research. Understand how economics work. They are crushing the economic system. They are crushing the middle class. They are working to separate the middle class down to poverty. And there's going to be a massive separation between the rich and poor. This is nothing new under the sun. This has happened over and over and over again. Until we get our shit together, until we realize that we're already free and that we're all beautiful human beings having a living experience, we don't have to fight against each other, that we all have special skills, it's going to be the same system over and over again. So it's your job to pick the winners and losers, to get the money back to the people and change the narrative. I love you. I appreciate you. As we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go.